Meanwhile, former Karnataka minister K.S. Ishwarappa finds himself in the midst of yet another controversy. Uh, the BJP leader who has triggered this endless showdowns in the last few weeks has now been slammed for his anti-Muslim comments. Reacting to a yogi government order in UP, making the national anthem, in fact, in Uttar Pradesh, Yogi Adityanath has made the national anthem compulsory in madrasas, to which Ishwarappa now, hailing this decision in Uttar Pradesh, claims that uh, the community which creates terrorists and anti-nationals will now have to sing the national anthem. The former Karnataka minister's comments has kicked off a massive political row with the opposition lashing out at Ishwarappa for his anti-Muslim rhetoric, demanded an apology from the leader. <laughs> Bayot Padakar and Nirman Martyr and the General Bailukuda, Rastra Bakti, Rastra Gita Begano, and the Matur Bandidela, but then Sagata Martene. Now there's a fresh showdown brewing over propaganda being spread in school textbooks in Karnataka, and this time. Two student groups have objected to the Karnataka government's decision to add RSS founder Hegdevar's speech in Karnataka textbooks. The All India Democratic Students Organization and All India Save Education Committee have questioned why Hegdevar chapters are being added from freedom when freedom fighter Bhagat Singh's portions were omitted from class 10 textbooks. India Today spoke to Karnataka Education Minister B.C. Nagesh, who lashed out at detractors, asking why nobody objected to Tipu Sultan's chapters in history books and now they're objecting to Hegdevar's chapters. He's also stated that if anyone really has a problem with Hegdevar being included in Karnataka's syllabus, then approach the government is what he says. Why they don't want to observe that? Read that if, if one, any student who reads that, if he, uh, what, how an idealism should be, whether it is uh, individual is ideal or uh, ideology is ideal. Nation is important or individual is important. When if a man says nation is important than individual, they're, they're, you, you object for that. Do you want, uh, you, uh, uh, they doesn't want a nation to be important, individual to be important. They tell the, uh, those people, to look into the matter, if there is any positive objectionable thing, that they object, we will welcome it. Now, cutting across to a civic apathy that's been reported, yet another case. A 30-year-old man died of electrocution near the Hebal bus stand on Saturday night after he accidentally came in contact with a live electric wire. The tragic incident occurred at around 9.40 p.m. when the victim touched the metal part of the bus shelter. The insulation of the wire had worn out and had come in contact with the metal advertisement board. Officials say the connection that was given to the agency was cut way back in 2020. Bengaluru is not the only city with a civic apathy. Last week, massive fire in illegal building in Delhi also claimed nearly 30 people's lives. Unfortunately, this is yet another case coming in from Bengaluru. Doesn't seem like the civic apathy really ends in the city. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is in Lumbini in Nepal on the occasion of Buddha Jayanti, where he'll be meeting with his counterpart Sher Bahadur Dioba. Prime Minister has offered prayers at the Maya Devi Temple right after landing in Lumbini. Prime Minister has also participated in the ceremony to lay foundation stone for a center for Buddhist culture and heritage to coincide with Buddha Purnima. Ahead of his trip to Lombini, Prime Minister Modi has said that his visit was intended to celebrate and further deepen the time-honoured linkages between India and Nepal. This would be Prime Minister Modi's fifth visit to Nepal since coming to power in 2014. Prime Minister Modi will be holding discussions with Nepal Prime Minister Dioba on expanding cooperation in areas such as hydropower, development and connectivity. After the bilateral meeting, the leaders are expected to exchange some MOUs on cooperation in cultural as well as educational sectors. Here's Prime Minister Modi's visit really trying to bolster ties between the two countries. Prime Minister of Nepal, Sher Bahadur Deva Ji, is with us. We are ready to welcome Narendra Modi. Sir, they are going to come. How will they move forward? It's a good relationship. 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 और ये बुद्ध जन्म यहाँ हुआ था इन्होंने बुद्ध ने ज्ञान प्राप्त किया बुद्धिया में 
और पहला पहला उनका हुआ साधा लुम्बनी में आप जा रहे हैं उनके साथ पूजा अर्चना भी करेंगे इसके जरिए क्या संदेश देंगे आप लोग पूजा अर्चना करेंगे इसके लिए नेपाल भारत का संबंध और बढ़ेगा और जो पहली बार वो पशुपति जनकपुर आए थे पशुपति आए थे वो वहाँ तक मुस्तान भी गए थे वो, वो क्या बोलते हैं वो, वो, वो यहाँ और इसमें इस यहाँ आ रहे हैं बहुत अच्छी बात है रोटी बेटी का रिश्ता है दोनों मुल्कों में प्रधानमंत्री आप वाराणसी भी गए थे वहाँ पर पूजा अर्चना की थी वो संसदीय क्षेत्र था तो आपको लग रहा है की रिश्ते आगे बढ़ेंगे मजबूती